This month, August 2022, a vital piece of rail transit infrastructure has been shut down in the eastern U.S., leading to much confusion, delay, and outrage. I'm talking, of course, about the closure of the Monongahela Incline. Well, you should take the 40-mount Washington bus from Smithville Street to access Silent Street Shops, or shuttle bus from the bus stop adjacent to Station Square Station. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your patience. Yes, Pittsburgh's favorite form of near vertical transportation has been closed until December for extensive repairs. In the meantime, the Pittsburgh Regional Transit, up until recently known as the Port Authority, has been running a shuttle bus between Station Square Light Rail Station and the top station of the Monongahela Incline. Is it worth taking? Is it easy to figure out? Um, the answer to both of those questions is probably not, but we're gonna check it out. Here we go. So here at Station Square Light Rail Station, automated announcements play every five minutes or so saying that the incline replacement shuttle bus leaves from the bus shelter adjacent to the light rail station. Now, this leaves some room for interpretation because there's a shelter across the road a shelter next to the station, and a shelter over here on a protected roadway. Now this sign from PRT has a little bit more information. It says that the shuttle bus stops at the bus shelter behind Station Square Rail Station. I guess this one here counts as behind. I happen to know it's the correct one because I wrote this yesterday to scout out this video, but it took some figuring out. Transit app is no help. It does not list the incline replacement shuttle bus at all. And the PRT's website isn't super clear on how to ride the incline shuttle. Also, there's an incline shuttle over there, across the road. And I'm not sure how it got there, but maybe that's where they're boarding today? This is all very confusing. Like, to my understanding, the bus starts here at the shelter, does a little loop de doo around the light rail station, and then goes back that way, but I didn't see this bus come through this way, so I couldn't tell you what's going on. I feel like every service that comes to this station, except for the Incline Shuttle, has come to the station in the time I've been waiting. Um, I've heard from another passenger that the shuttle runs every half hour, and given that we just saw one in the opening of this video, I may be sitting here for a while, but there's no schedule posted anywhere I could find, so I really have no idea. I think PRT does need to do a little bit better with communication. Here we are. I just realized I forgot to time this, so better late than never. There's the incline, there's where we're going up on top of the hill. We're heading through Mount Washington on the Wabash Tunnel. And here we are, at the top of Mount... Oh my god. That ride took about 10 minutes and 10 seconds, a full four minutes longer than riding the Monongahela Incline. I suppose there are some routes, such as this one, that are so sheerly vertical that it's difficult to entirely replace their effectiveness with a bus. Now that the PRT hasn't made an effort to try, I do think the PRT's effort has been a little disorganized, because if you look up here, there are three different buses, all saying Incline Shuttle, all waiting to take passengers for a route that hasn't been taking that many people. So I'm not sure why they're keeping three different buses up here all with their engines running on a route that had like four people when I was riding. This is a small, apparently. There is a fourth bus. They have four different buses, four different drivers, all running the Monongahela Incline. I would very much like to know the uh, thought process behind this. Oh, looks like one of the uh, buses over there just left, so we're back down to three. 
So this signage is a little strange. The lower station replacement listed on this sign is the entrance area of the Monongahela Incline on Carson Street. But over here, on the PRT-sponsored sign, it says that um, buses will leave Station Square Station, as we saw earlier. It's interesting, it says here, service frequency will depend on operator availability. So they don't really have a fixed schedule. It's literally just when they have drivers, when they have buses, except there's three different drivers and three different buses up here, and they're all just sitting around. So I think at that point it's just when there's people getting on the bus, I suppose. I don't really understand this system. I think the PRT could do a better job explaining what's going on. There is a fourth one coming up the road behind the third one. So now we have two over here and two over here. I think there's an operator for each of them. One would think they could do this with two operators and two buses. Maybe three operators and three buses, but five? Because there's a blue one up here that's probably down at Station Square at the moment. I'm not really sure what they're trying to accomplish. Well, now for our downhill journey. The driver told me that this bus won't be leaving for another eight minutes. So I guess we're stuck here. And we're off. And I get a private bus all to myself. I'm trying to hold the camera more or less level. And here are the tracks of the former brown line. And we're back at Station Square. That ride took about 10 minutes going down, just like going up. Once again, about four minutes longer than riding the actual Monongahela Incline. Overall, gotta say, the bus institution of the Incline isn't the worst possible situation we could have here on Mount Washington, but the weird schedule and the uh, weird bunching at the top of the hill, I think could use a little bit more organization and clarity. Anyways, before I get interrupted by another light rail, thank you so much for watching. Take care until the next one.